Strafing run. That might they might not stop. They might just be going. This is like try and kill as many as possible. Okay, flat gun. Wait, why aren't you shooting? Shoot someone! Okay, it's deployed finally. It took a second. This is like shooting fish in a barrel. Okay, we destroyed four, five, six of our squads. Okay, so it looks like they have two more. All right, howdy folks, and welcome back to Company of Heroes 3. From the moment this video goes live until July 19th, you can actually play this mission where you take on British forces in North Africa playing as a mixed German-Italian battle group. I've linked it to the page below. You have to sign up on their forums and then redeem access as with the previous alphas. I should note that as a member of the Company of Heroes content creator program, I've been given an official affiliate link by the Code 3 developers meaning that if you use my personal link in the description to pre-order Code 3 on Steam, I will receive a percentage of the sale, which is a fantastic way to directly support the channel while buying a game. It's really a win-win. Sit back, relax, and enjoy me taking control of the Access Forces in this latest Company of Heroes 3 Alpha. Enjoy the video. It's finding the British in North Africa. There is a little list of things that are known issues, such as, for example, tanks, not necessarily being able to traverse trenches very effectively, but there are things that I just want you to keep an eye on, like, hey, there are some known issues, known bugs. There's a huge chance there's actually might get iron out before you get your hands on this, but for today, just keep in mind, if you see anything a little weird in this video, there's a 99% chance, 99.9% .9 chance that they know, and they have already fixed it or actively fixing it. So today, we are playing as the Germans, and the nice thing, like I said, is that we actually have Italian support in the form of L6 tanks and some infantry. And uh, after we secure this area, we also actually get to deploy some Italian tanks and infantry to use ourselves. Now, there's quite a few new things in this build. Uh, I haven't touched Co3 since the, uh, I think the multiplayer beta that I played with Davidson a whole bunch a long time ago by this point. But they have confirmed Italy, at least Italian units. I'm not sure if they confirmed it as a faction, but at least so far we know the British, the Americans, and the Germans are in the game. So, you know, two versus one technically wouldn't 100% surprise me if we see the Italians. Now, the interesting thing is, and I didn't really make use of this much in my previous gameplay because it was usually with another person and then you can't use this tactical pause thing and you can click on these buttons if you want to cancel them out so where i can actually reverse him out then move him up the orders are reverse and then forward you obviously can't do that in a multiplayer game that uh, would be very broken if you could but there we saved the italians and uh, they just have uh what is that like one uh, guastatori probably horribly mispronouncing that squad uh, but today we get to see some new things like we get to experience the towing of anti-aircraft guns and flak 88s our italian allies are engaged with a british force attacking from the east our goal is to flank and entrap the enemy by capturing two key locations the trench network to the east is preventing us from pushing northward while the northeastern fuel depot is vital to support our armor Whatever happens, we must not let the enemy withdraw to Benghazi. Flank and trap the British forces, then eliminate whatever troops remain. I played this mission for about five minutes just to make sure everything works and it looks good. I run a pretty decent computer. If you go to your graphics settings, do not go super crazy. Definitely limit yourself to 1920 by 1080, even though my native resolution is actually higher, but also set your settings relatively low. I'm not sure if it's the build, but I had some horrible frame issues earlier, and then I switched to this sort of medium graphical setting, and honestly, the game still looks pretty good. There's obviously a little bit of anti-aliasing here and stuff that could be better, but the game still looks pretty good. But yeah, just keep that in mind if you are trying to play this yourself, which you again, I should highlight you can from this moment on, and I'll hopefully have the correct page linked in the description. Just make sure you set your options a, a little lower than you maybe do in other games, especially like me, if your computer is, uh, you know, my computer is pretty decent. So usually when I go into a game, I make sure all my settings are usually maxed out or, or closely maxed out. 
Right, we're going to use our FAMO half-track to repair one of these two tanks. We can't repair both, but we're going to go for the Sturmgeschütz with the short 75. We can actually use this as a heavy assault gun. We also captured the objective, so that's good. We'll get an MG-34 for them. And we are going to... I don't know if we want to get another Panzergrenadier squad or not. I do like this. It allows your yeah, buildings to automatically reinforce squads that have lost men without you having to micro and do that yourself. Looks like our Italians are in some deep trouble back here fighting stewards. And then we'll get these Guastatori, Guatatori, which is basically an Italian assault engineers equipped with flamethrowers and demolition equipment. These guys actually look kind of like Star Wars characters. I'm trying to get a good angle of them here. I guess we can pause it, right? Those guys look actually like World War One soldiers. They got... SMGs, this must be Berettas, and I think there's an upgrade we can get them two flamethrowers. So, okay, yeah, sure. Satchels, flamethrowers, explosive equipment, a minesweeper. So we'll wait for my. Oh, actually, it's already repaired. My pens are three. That was a, a good hit. Actually, it knocked him out. Roll it forward. But yeah, the, the voiceovers for Co3 are good. They're not anything special, but they're definitely on Co2 level. I think the Co devs set up such a high bar for themselves with Co 1 and the quality of the voice acting that it's hard to listen to Co 2 and Co 3 and not be like, wow, Co 1 did a really, really good job. But I think for me, Co 2, uh, if you played as the Germans, and obviously you had the English or American voiceover, uh, you actually got to listen to, oh, now I gotta remember his name, and I'm not gonna remember his name. Uh, but he played the German Colonel Vogel, or Vogel, I think, in Indiana Jones and the uh, Raiders of the Lost. Our Herman Koller, I think, is his name. If you uh, if you ever want to compare, you can listen to him. He also is the German general who does the speech uh, near, the fi near the end in uh, one of the uh, last Band of Brother episodes where the German general has a whole-to-whole -whole speech. Uh, he's also that same guy. Now we are barraging this building with a special ability which fires three rounds at a very close range target. Then it has a 60 second reload. We're pushing up, trying to capture, actually we'll put our infantry into that building. Move up our Panzer three, and we also want to probably move up our infantry. So it actually counts more as a mortar here and not so much as a, a slightly indirect unit, but it actually like has a pretty decent range in this game. Wait, let's see if we can, oh, we're getting, Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we want to get the hell out of here. Looks like we're getting artillery pretty hard. Okay, that actually hurt a lot. Let's get our half track on top of that. Can we capture this? What is that? Oh, okay, that must be a bug then. But it looks like it's a Bren gun, perhaps? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's an anti-tank rifle. I'm not really interested in capturing the machine gun. And here is our Italian L60. Dash 40. We can actually upgrade this to have a flamethrower instead of the 20 mil. So I'm kind of considering grabbing that perhaps. Okay, our Sturmgeschütz is ready. Push up our infantry. And we'll actually dismount these guys and put them more on the right side here. Kind of look what's over here. Use the cover. What is this? A wreck of a crusader, it looks like. With the. That might be just a two pounder like the 40 mil, right? All right, let's oh, engage this house. Fire. Get our infantry to shoot to engage the squad. Oh, it's just getting shot. Oh, it's getting hit by an anti-tank rifle. Okay, we're just gonna go up for the shotgun kill here. Drive up close. Look to 75. Ah, surprisingly little damage. The thing is, you can't move this once it's started to engage. Because uh, once you do, obviously, the ability cancels out. There is a machine gun back here. Okay, we'll get our Panzer three to support this Panzer into your section. Actually knocked out the two-pounder crew, which is perfect because we did need that. Upgrade this to a command post, which we'll need later. And if the shoots is firing... Okay, I want to make sure we get rid of this machine gun section. So we'll use our infantry shoots or Sturm shoots. And Panzer III, okay, they're immediately making short work of this. So now, units that are lost will automatically be resupplied to the squads, which means a lot less micro for you as a player. Oh, that's actually a very dangerous squad. What are these guys? Foot guard section, elite infantry. They're with bazookas. Uh, my 
Storm goes shoots better. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a person's body. Okay, that's a little bit less bloody than I thought. I look. I say that as this person just vanished into red mist. Okay, there's potentially mines over here, so let's kind of be careful. Everything in order. Infantry can shoots rotate that. With the right equipment, our Panzer pioneers can okay, our Panzer Pioneers, I could upgrade them, but I swear I just saw a mines... Oh, look at that! Okay, well, good. I actually kind of did something slightly different. I don't know if that breaks the mission. Hopefully not, but it looks like we found these mines either way. Oh, that's an AT gun. Infantry shoots is on is already engaging. We lose our Panzer, uh, the Italian infantry to D mine in front of our infantry. While well, the infantry deals, oh wait, they're not going to engage this. Actually, we'll rotate this uh, L6 and see if we can get some flames going. I'm not sure what the range on it is. This two pounder seems to be a little occupied with. Oh, it could it could rotate. Okay, that's kind of dangerous. But we're flaming it. Is it going to die? The mines are gone. Oh, it's... Okay. Ooh, guys. Guys, please. Grenade. Hopefully this saves it. Please don't tell me... <laughs> I could not survive one more second of that. Okay. Tank attack forward. Get our Italians to come back. Okay, we do have some contact over here. If they... Oh, don't tell me you guys are going to line up together like that. Oh, no. Load the triple eight. Okay, that's at least their cover gone, but that does mean... Oh, no, this squad just ran back in. They, if they're going to stay there, they're dead. And, ah, uh, you know, mostly knocked out. Pretty effective, I'd say. Damn, that was a snipe. There's an anti-tank rifle up there. So we want to push our infantry. Okay, that's bad. We need to pull our flamethrower tank out of there. And we need to smoke... Or do we want to smoke grenade? I don't know if we can smoke grenade these tanks off or not. Haftoladun. Is it a Haftoladun? It looks like one. That was a good hit, but they destroyed my art, my light tank, the Italian one. Oh, I think my infantry shoots just direct hit that steward. They're making some decent way here. I kind of could, I could get the light tank, but I feel like it wasn't really as effective. And we built... Yes, we can build supply caches. I need one on the ammo here, because we are low on ammo constantly. Because the abilities are all so expensive for me. It's a short belt, Strumgeschutz. You'd assume it could do damage, but I guess not what I want it to do. But we can rudimentary repair some of our vehicles. If one that shoots is missing, that's fine. Okay, you got this, right? Our 88s is up. Okay. Okay, we're going to deploy that here, it sounds like. To cover the Italians. They don't really have any good equipment, I assume. Oh, no, that's not where they want it. They want it on the right side. Okay, keep preparing. This is what I always do in Blitzkrieg. You make sure you fully rotate the gun. Now we unload. Okay. Shoots. Can we? Oh, we can. We can heal because we're next to a truck. Okay, it does look like we can. Maybe let's find out. Let's find out. We can tow this gun that's going to be built here soon. I guess we could put him in this truck, but I don't want to micro too much. So we're going to rotate him this way. What will it be? Infantry shoots. Okay, I don't know if we're. Okay, that's cool. We did tow this pack, but I'm not sure if we're waiting for them to attack us or if we should attack them. Our Stuka cannon strafing ability is ready. Maybe we should just push up and use this sort of as a secondary line. In case we need to use the flat gun. Okay, the flat gun can move. But I'm assuming it's going to be really slow. Okay, the crew... Oh, I don't think it can. Oh, and actually we have contacts. That's what's happening here. Reverse, reverse... Nice, that flak instantly base. <laughs> okay, we are playing Blitzkrieg, I think. Holy crap. This is what I wanted from Company Heroes. Was this like a, maybe a little bit of... I was going to say a little bit of realism. It's an entire squad is gone. They're gone. Like, not even like a little bit. They're just decimated. Okay, disembark the pack. Get the crew on station on the left. Heal this squad up. Wow, that was insane. Okay, let's push up a little forward now. 
but I don't know if our flak can move by itself. Let's see again. Let's see. Gentlemen, welcome to the front. Nope. It's fully. It looks like it's fully locked unless you use a vehicle. That is completely destroyed in the next shot. Okay. No, that's awesome. We can use the pack as a sort of mobile one and then pull the flak up every time we want to kind of move that around. Infantry shoots. Make sure we have eyes on. Infantry, let's push you to hard cover. And then our Sturm shoots and Italian infantry will push up. Keep sort of our uh, truck with the flak ready to deploy whenever. We do still have our cannon ability ready, which I'm interested to see. Hey, okay. I gotta say something I just noticed. Co2 went very hard on like showing that it was a German vehicle or a Soviet vehicle or an American vehicle. Besides a little bit of like blue markings on this, uh, like on the back of the thread protectors and a little bit on the front, it's actually very basic. A huge amount of the mods in Co2, I think, was to make the vehicles look a little bit less arcadey, maybe. But this looks fantastic. I'm honestly, I'm actually very excited. This is very impressive, considering this is what I wanted to see um, from Co. And then we'll push our infantry. Oh, mortar team. Always want to kill those. We also have infantry up there. Let's let's deploy. Our special ability, that's one. That's... Okay. I gotta say, I'm loving this so far. The, the big shells do really mess up infantry, which is fantastic. What we probably have to do here is uh, position our flak on the ridge. Can we get just get in here? No. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, we can just park our flak up there, it looks like. So we'll put our flak up there and then our pack up here as well. Okay, gotta turn around though. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh God, this is horrible. Okay, just unload, unload, because it's, it's gonna die otherwise. And then rotate this flak, push up to the ridge. Okay, oh, we have enemy, we have a steward. Looks like it's just out of range for my flak. So we'll rotate it, rotate, 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 and that should start engaging it. Perfect, that's a whole of a lot of damage. And that should kill it. Yes, it did. Okay, rotate it again, facing directly at them. We'll push up, we'll push up our Panzer three. We'll put our infantry with the machine in the ditch. I'm just trying to keep everything moving. Okay, let's see what what this does. This is the Stuka strafing run. So it should be like, what, 20 millimeters? It says Stuka cannon, so... Here we go. Oh, okay. That could be cannons. It could also be machine guns. I'm not 100% sure. Considering that there was Stukas armed with... Well, Stuka cannons and once armed with machine guns, so... We're calling in the Stuka bombing run, hopefully on top of this cart. We'll also call in the... Uh, we'll use the sent. Oh, it says anti-tank satchel. I was hoping it was like anti-building, maybe. This should be good. Oh, that was a direct hit. That was amazing. That could not have been planned any better. But this is kind of bad. Okay, our flak's engaged in the Crusader. We have some infantry back there. We need to get these guys out, and they need to be fixed a little. There's a huge... Okay, never mind. Our Crusader, or their Crusader just got destroyed. I gotta say, this flak gun is putting in some heavy work. We could use our thing. Can we upgrade this? Oh, that's a it's an allied point. I was hoping to upgrade it to the same thing as this. We're getting swarmed here. Uh, okay, they're dead. Never mind. This gun is absolutely amazing. Just destroying. Oh, there's a mortar there. It's gonna get killed, I hope, but might as well help it die a little sooner because it might be engaging my flat gun. We don't cannot have that happen. Enemy artillery, please not, please not. Where? Oh, that's bad. Reverse. This is awkward because they're ju they just set up their machine gun. Run, 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 run. Oh crap! That was a dirt. Dude, these people exploding into pink mist is just horrifying. 
See if we can capture the refinery. There's not really like a lot we really have to worry about here anymore. That's awesome. Okay, they've pushed onto the flank, but we're capturing the refinery with our infantry. We still have a bunch of uh, ammo ready, so we could kind of spam the uh, abilities if we need to. And they are probably all cornered over here. Or, I don't know. I guess they're all in this back end. Unless that was it. Oh, no. The map just expanded. Okay, let's move up. Our, I forgot about this repair half track. Destroyed or withdraw. Okay, we'll pull up our flak. British troops are attempting to withdraw to the northwest. We cannot allow that to happen. There is a village nearby. Capture it and blockade the That's this. But let's get escape. this other point. All these half tracks he can't give us one. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. Be funny if they if they said thanks for giving us a half track after you finally gave them a half track to be fair. Right, smoke grenade. A smoke grenade and then we can get up close with this assault squad cuz they got the flamers. Okay, oh, they are running. Panzer... No, this is the Sturmgeschutz. There's the Panzer. We could technically... Oh, we should repair this to Panzer III. And then keep our... Oh, I forgot about our engineers. They're over here somewhere. This infantry shoots is actually really good. We could smoke... I don't know if this AT gun will... I have something that's going to kill me, but we'll smoke. Lock, blocking line of sight, we'll get right underneath it, and I think we can destroy it then using our flamethrowers from like right underneath. Or did we just take enemy? No, this should kill it. They're oh, they're they're getting shot by the. Okay, that's bad. We need to destroy that. Oh, we're good. They cleared it. Okay. Check secure this. Oh, hello, train car. Okay, that squad just lost three quarters of their. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Okay, that's great. Okay, okay, we get it. You, you're done, you're done. Our flak's already engaging. Oh, it was an enemy. Uh, oh, it was a Beaufort's anti-aircraft gun. Okay. But you see, we can't move it onto this ridge, so you have to constantly move it with the truck. So maybe we should move it further up the hill, because right now it has like a mediocre, I feel like, line of sight. Why don't we run our Panzer three in here and then disembark really cool like? Uh, oh, that was kind of cool. I was hoping to do it maybe a little closer, but... Okay, we got a bunch of contacts over here. That's gonna be a... That's gonna be a Stuka bombing right there. Focus the armored car. We need to get out of here. Uh, we might have to retreat. Oh, they're triple vet. Nice, okay. Did my planes ever come in? Oh, here they are, I think. Took a second. Ooh. Good double bombing run there. Okay, perfect. I don't know where these guys are retreating to. They're going to retreat for a while, probably. And they automatically got resupplied. I do really like that new option. And they're currently getting healed. It's cool that you can see... I like this part of the UI, but it's also a little big. And it takes up, like, about a sixth of the screen. It's cool that you can see the individual soldier's health and how the squad is made up. Which is something I don't think you could ever do before. But I feel like this is maybe a little too big. I feel like it could be a tad smaller in my in my personal opinion. Let's upgrade this to an HQ or a A post. Or a flat gun should probably be deployed by now. Go, 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 and deploy. And get out of there and rotate the flak. Our machine gun should be in a pretty good spot here, I think. I'm thinking shoots the shooting. Bunch of infantry. We'll do strafing run again. We want to auto reinforce. These guys are healing. There's a gun right there. Come on. You can knock that out. No need to get let this get away. Our flak is up. Now we just need infantry, but I also want to secure this bottom area. So we're sending these guys to go and help out before we attack the main town area. We might be able to just run through it. Okay, get ready. We're going to use the special ability here, probably. I should have put the guys on... Oh, okay. There was nothing to be afraid of here. That works. Okay, we'll use our Sturmgeschutz to look north. And then rotate towards the town. Oh, there's a... Oh, it's a dug-in vehicle. It's a Crusader, but he's locked. 
And we are just going to use our special ability on him here. Not doing a huge amount of damage. Hopefully this flat gun will engage it. He might not have the range on it, actually. Okay, well, he's doing it. He's doing an awesome job. Actually, more so than I thought he would. We've captured this. We'll use... <laughs> wow, never mind. He is gone. Okay. There's a little bit of infantry left here. Surprised he didn't die there. We can actually... There should be, like, some sort of gun here in the middle of the town. I just... Or there's a... Okay, there's a tank here. Either way. Anti-tank satchel set. We're going to charge it and r run away right at... Okay, there goes the satchel. The stuka should be coming in. Ooh, wow! That did a insane amount of damage, actually. Oh, there goes. Clear the village. We didn't even get to... Uh, I was hoping there would be like a final Flak 88 just overkill ability thing where all the British would be running up. But... Oh, wait, we have to eliminate enemy squ Oh, okay, so they're going to be running through here. But I'm wondering... British report... Okay, they're, gonna make they're coming from behind us. Okay, we got to move, we got to move, we got to move. They're coming in. They're coming in, like, behind us. <laughs> kind of an awkward spot. So we got to get the flak. Oh, they're coming fast, too. We got to hurry up. So we got to set up. Can we build anything here that I care for? Not really. We got to set up and be fast. We'll deploy the flak right here. I think that's a really good spot for her, to be honest. Put the artillery facing that way. We could steal. Oh, we can this truck not capture something? Oh, we're out of pop cap crap. I was hoping we could even use that. Okay, here's our allies. They're just going to run into their deaths, apparently. Artillery is engaging. Our pens... Oh, our Sturmgeschutz. Right, right, right. We need to repair Sturmgeschutz, and then we should be good. I think we're honestly in a really good position to just annihilate whatever comes our way. Strafing run. That might, they might not stop. They might just be going. This is like trying to kill as many as possible. Okay, flat gun. Wait, why aren't you shooting? Shoot someone! Okay, it's deployed finally. It took a second. This is like shooting fish in a barrel. Okay, we destroyed four, five, six of our squads. Okay, so it looks like they have two more. I kind of want to capture this bow force, but... I should not have done that. I think that... <laughs> hey, look at that. It's a good thing I said at the end of the video. So clearly capturing that uh, is a bug. Shouldn't have done that because that caused a crash. So if you're playing this yourself, don't capture that bow force. Uh, there's a free tip. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at what Company of Heroes 3 will bring. Personally, I'm really excited to see North Africa, the Germans and the Italians uh, just a little bit less of an often seen front with some uh, smaller factions. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's see you in the next one.